Hey, good morning, everybody. We are watching a news conference that's just now starting here at HPD along with Crime Stoppers. They are announcing a new reward and we're going to release the sketch of the person who shot and killed a 17 year old girl on the Pierce Elevated last month. Let's listen to Andy Khan, the head of Crime Stoppers, speaking now. Louise was just simply, she was driving a Galveston, watch the sunrise with her friends, for her life was abruptly cut short by an unknown assailant. Despite being mortally wounded, she managed to get her car off the road and her actions, no doubt, prevented other tragedies. Make no mistake about it, Louise is everybody's daughter. She's everybody's sister. And at any given moment, you or I. It's time for us as a community to send a message to those who commit these types of senseless crimes, destroying families one at a time. We are going to find you, we're gonna hunt you down, and we're gonna lock you up for a long time. And with that, Crime Stoppers is announcing an increased reward today of up to $20,000. We are giving you 20,000 reasons for any information leading up to the arrest of the suspect and or suspects responsible for murdering Louise Wilson. We're asking everyone to call us at 713-222-TIPS, submit a tip online, www.crime-stoppers.org. We have a mobile app available in over 20 languages. And remember, all tipsters are anonymous. Joining us here today is our law enforcement detail at Crime Stoppers, members of the Houston po uh, Police Department's Homicide Squad, family members, and friends. I'm gonna ask Detective Bolding to come on up here, kind of give you an update to what's happening with the case and where we stand right now. Hey, good morning. Um, like Mr. Kahn had said, um, I'm just going to go back again. This is originally, we originally released some information on uh, December 13th. Um, this event took place on December 10th. Um, patrol units with our downtown division responded to a shooting up on the Pierce Elevated. When they arrived, they located a red um, Chevy Sonic that was later identified to belong to uh, Ms. Wilson. Um, it pulled over on the right hand shoulder um, and she had multiple gunshot wounds. Uh, there was another individual uh, in the car who, ha who ha also had gunshot wounds, was treated and released later on. Um, patrol units were able to close the freeway and do the best they could to secure the scene and, and um, thing, but it's a, it's a large stretch. We've, we've driven the Pierce, we know the Pierce elevated. It's a large stretch of, of multiple lanes with lots of lanes coming in, lots of ways to go out of the Pierce elevated. Um, the, um, you know, the whole incident took, that took place was, it seems like a road rage incident. There was a little bit of cutting off, a little bit of back and forth. Um, Ms. Wilson didn't do anything wrong. Um, just trying to get away from this car or get around and still driving down the freeway. I think we've all been in a situation like that where we're just driving and uh, what's going on or whatnot. There's no intentional back and forth trying to create some sort of racing thing or anything like that. It was a literal just road rage thing. Um, a suspect um, described as a light-skinned black male in his mid-20s um, with short dreadlock style hair with a portion of the hair um, dyed blonde um, began firing um, into Miss Wilson's vehicle striking her and the the other individual in the car um, the suspect vehicle is described as a newer model black four-door sedan, uh, sedan. Um, unfortunately that's the details that we have it's a black newer model clean vehicle um, continued along 45 um, along 45 southbound. Don't know which direction it went. Uh, again, Ms. Wilson was able to break her vehicle and safely pull it over to the side of the road. I'm gonna ask Louise's father, Daniel, 
and Daniel's going to also introduce other family members that are here today to make a direct appeal and plea to the public. My name is Daniel Wilson, and I just wanted to make a few comments. Uh, to my daughter's killer, I want to say that you're a coward. But unlike how you have taken Louise's life, we have taken yours. We have just given you up to 20,000 reasons to doubt and not trust everyone in your world right now. You will have to live with that doubt for the rest of your life, having to wonder who might turn you in, your mom, dad, brother, sister, or friends. To those you bragged about what you did to our little girl. How much is your life worth to them will be something you will have to ask yourself for the rest of your life. Even if no one ever does turn you in and you somehow escape man's judgment here on earth, I know you will have to face another judgment, one that is eternal. I do pray that you find salvation, as I know you don't have it right now. It's easy to repent and ask for forgiveness. Maybe one day we can meet face to face as brothers in Christ. To all those that, who have helped to support us during this time, I want to send my deepest thank you. To those that donated to raise money for the reward, I can never thank you enough, especially Janet Dunnebeck and those at the cafe in Whitney. To all of the law enforcement officers that have worked to help find Louise's killer, I want to thank you and to encourage you to never forget her. To the elected officials that we have contacted, I want to implore you to do something. To my state senator who commented there isn't a legislative remedy to this problem, I beg you to reconsider your position. There are things that can be done and local law enforcement needs your help. From traffic cams to license plate readers to even something as simple as having DOT cameras being able to record, this would help solve crimes in the future. The mayor of Houston was elected to make changes here. Please help him to make those changes. To the people of Houston, please help get this animal off your streets. Imagine this car right here, riddled with bullet holes. Imagine seeing news segments with your child covered with a sheet laying on the roadway. Imagine your daughter on the side of the freeway taking her last breaths. Those are the images that play through my mind every night as I try to sleep, and the image that I see every time I close my eyes or visit her grave. If you don't want to live this same nightmare, Get this person off your streets, or it will be you or your kid next time. Louise's family has a long history of service to this country. I served in the Army with multiple deployments, and this is what you see in third world countries. This is not the country I fought to defend. Lastly, to my daughter, I know you're in heaven, surrounded by family, and in the glory of the Lord. You know and have known you were loved here on earth. We will see you again, and I can't wait to see you. Thank you. Hi, thank you for letting me be here today. I'm Louise's mom, Krista. I've had many sleepless nights and days where I cannot eat. My thoughts are occupied with my daughter Louise, how she suffered and died on the side of the interstate, how I'm supposed to live without her, and what I would possibly say to her killer. No words can really describe the magnitude of loss and pain I'm experiencing. It's been difficult to believe that that was my daughter lying in that casket, that it was my daughter put in the ground and that I will never touch her or hear her voice all the rest of the days of my life. She will never accomplish her dreams. Her daddy will never walk her down the aisle on her wedding day. She will never bless us with grandbabies, and she will never be the best friend that I'd hoped to have one day. <laughs> to Louise's killer, I don't know what life you have lived, what successes or hardships you've had, but I do know that there will never be an explanation you can give me that will justify what you did to my daughter. You stole her life, you stole her future, and you stole from our family. You do not value life. 
You've taken for granted the freedoms that you have that many have fought before and died. When you chose to spray my daughter with bullets, that's when you lost your right to live freely among society. Lord willing, you will be found. You know what man cannot forgive, God can. No sin is too great for God to forgive, and I hope that one day you will give your life to Christ. Thanks. I'm Louise's Aunt Jenny. I shouldn't have to have buried my 17-year-old niece. She should have buried me. Having to explain to my six-year-old daughter what happened to her almost favorite cousin. She's got a lot of cousins. But Louise was special to her because Louise was also a horseback rider like my daughter. And now knowing that she lives her life to make sure that Louise is up there watching her to make sure that she rides that horse the way that she needs to, it's hard. It's hard to explain to her. She has nightmares at six years old. To the person who did this, you are a coward. We all have issues when we're driving, but not to do this. And I hope that one day you are caught, and if you're not, just know that you'll be judged. Again, we shouldn't have had to have buried such a young soul. She didn't even have a chance to live her life. And yet, you got to spend Christmas with your family, with your mother, your father, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters. My brother and his wife, they didn't. They have a half-decorated tree at Christmas time because that was what they wanted to do was decorate the tree with Louise. Looking back at the last text that I sent to Louise was, we need to plan a trail ride. But now that's gonna have to happen in heaven when I get there. So I hope you are watching this and I hope you have the guilt and I hope someone turns you in because you deserve it. I'm gonna ask Paul Castor to come up and I'm sure everybody in the greater Houston area is familiar with Paul's story, but Paul's story resonates because of the similarities of the, what he and his family have had to endure and the success that Crime Stoppers had in bringing his killer to justice, Paul. My name is Paul Castro, uh, July 6, 2021. My son David was shot in a similar matter to Louise. Um, thanks to the community, over 100 calls came into Crime Stoppers Houston uh, to help in identifying David's killer. Um, David's killer is now locked up in uh, Northeast Texas for a 30 year sentence. He deserved more, but he got what he got. Um, I'm speaking now to uh, this killer's family. Uh, to this killer's uh, girlfriend, ex-girlfriends. Um, you're gonna look at this picture and you're gonna wonder, you know, is this, you know, so-and-so? <clears throat> and the characteristics is, are this person carries a gun with them. They carry a gun and they keep it on the driver's side. They keep it on the passenger side. Uh, this is a person who has a short temper. This is a person who gripes and yells and gets angry all the time. And if you're wondering, I wonder if, that's a call, okay? That can be a call to Crime Stoppers. Let the Houston Police Department and the detectives up here do their job and check it out. It is unacceptable that our city has become a place where children, you know, fathers, mothers, aunts, uncles are being gunned down on our roads on a regular basis and where people feel like they have to justify, oh, this person did nothing wrong. I got news for you. Anyone who takes a gun and shoots at another person in a vehicle uh, is the wrong person. That's the bad person. There's no justification for what that person did on that day. So I'm asking the community to do what they did to support us in our time of loss and to use this opportunity to stand up and say we are better than this. We are better than this as a community. We're better than this as a city. Um, the Wilson family, my heart is with them because uh, two and a half years later, it feels like yesterday, but I feel like I haven't hugged my son 
20 years. <sighs> Help the community find this person. This person is not, this will not be his last bad behavior. Okay, this person will beat his wife, beat his girlfriends, beat his children. This person will use a gun in the future. Get this person off the streets, I implore you to, uh, if you have a strong feeling, and this person talked. David's killer talked. He talked to his girlfriend. Okay, that tip led to an investigation that eventually led to his getting caught. So I implore you, if someone has talked to you and this person has talked, he was worried, he was really in a bad mood December 10th, 11th, 12th of last year. Remember that bad mood and do something about it. Thank you. Once again, we're asking the public's help. The public is our best eyes and ears out there. And like Paul said, sadly, Texas is at the epicenter of this burgeoning scourge now known as road rage murder. And we truly believe that someone out there knows who killed Louise. And it's time for you to step up to the plate and do the right thing. Grief is intensified when justice is lacking. And right now, sadly, justice is lacking for Louise and her family. And this senseless violence has got to stop. We are seeing way too many families who are now belong to parents of murdered children and surviving family members of homicide, which is the only organization in this country in which someone else writes out your membership for you. So again, please contact Crime Stoppers. 713-222-TIPS, go online, www.crime-stoppers.org, use our mobile app, and you are eligible for an up to a $20,000 reward. And always remember, all tipsters are anonymous. And again, I'd like to thank all the hardworking officers of the Houston Police Department, our staff here, our chairman of the board, Lindsey Ehrenstein, that's here supporting us, and the community of Houston that I know is going to do the right thing. So at this time, we'll open it up for any questions. Going. The, all of the information that we have is, is coming from the other witnesses, the, the individuals with Louise. Um, I know uh, they had pled for, for someone else to come forward um, that knows, that, that had been, um, you know, that had talked, this individual had talked. Um, I personally would be fine if someone else that was driving that day came forward as well and called and said, hey, I, I don't know who this person is, but I saw. Whether you think it was important or not important, I'll ask you a bunch of questions and we'll go from there and see if we can determine what may or may not be important, but we need the phone calls. So that's still part of the investigation. Um, there may have been more people in the car. What, that's part of it. Um, as far as how many people were in the car, I, I wouldn't hazard to conjecture. Um, I just know that we, we have this composite sketch that was done of the individual that was pulling the trigger. Anything else? Again, I'd like to thank everybody for being here. And more importantly, take a good look at this beautiful young lady, and she deserves answers, and this family deserves justice. So thank you guys for getting the word out there. We deeply appreciate you. Thank you. All right, you've been watching there a news conference with Crime Stoppers, Houston Police, and the family of Louise Wilson pleading for information for someone to come forward after they increased the reward now to $20,000. Yeah, yeah, we're just getting some new information and finally a suspect description. They actually had a sketch there. We didn't get to see that, but according to police, it's a light-skinned black male, mid-20s, uh, locks in his hair, 
and part of the locks would be dyed blonde as far as the vehicle, not really a specific description of the vehicle, just a black sedan, so that's not really too specific. But you really heard from her family there pleading with the public, bring any information you have forward. If you saw something, even if you thought you saw something, just contact police. It could help them more than it could hurt them. Oh, the emotions in her parents and her aunt there mm -hmm. uh, really tore at the heartstrings. We will have the sketch for you online at fox26houston.com and of course on our later newscasts throughout the day. Uh, for now, we are going to end uh, this broadcast and be sure to check back in on the stream and our Fox local app throughout the day for more news content and weather. Have a good day, everyone.